Welcome to my backyard. What you see here is a place that, quite frankly, I haven't known what to do with for several years. But thanks to a recent partnership with Compact Power Equipment Rental, I was able to find the tools and expertise to get this pit filled in and begin transforming this space. If you're thinking about doing a project like this, there are a few things you should probably know first. First, review the site. What you may not be able to tell right away is that this area is a sinkhole. It's the result of construction debris that was buried many years ago when the house was first built. To the left is a raised mound of dirt from other changes I've made in years past. You might want to skip over to the blog after this video if you need more info on either of these, but I'd already done a lot of research up to this point. Second, utilities. Hitting a buried cable or utility could be a costly mistake, so you're going to want to contact 811 or go to call811.com and submit your project info about a week before you dig. Cable, gas, and other utilities will come out to your property to mark off the areas to avoid. Third was soil delivery. There were several suppliers in my area, but availability for drop-offs and coordinating delivery with the rental equipment was key. I went with what was recommended for clean fill and later had to get a second load of topsoil. Next came one of my favorite parts, delivery. CPER and I had decided on a tractor loader backhoe as my best option for fitting through my backyard gate and helping me distribute all of that dirt. After a little bit of training, I got to work. Not gonna lie, this was five long days of hard work. The first day and a half I was on my own, but by the weekend I was able to recruit some help. My dad was a huge help, and I quickly learned that as long as you make a pretty good sell on a Facebook invite, your friends will come by to play with a giant Tonka toy and provide free labor. After removing several pine trees last year, there were a number of roots still left in the ground. So to get at these, I first had to use stabilizers on either side of the backhoe to help me keep balance. Then I was able to use the control to dig the claw around and under each stubborn root. It got pretty noisy. And since it was just plain easier, I also ripped out the rest of the plants. Whatever works, right? So I started off with kind of a rough yard, but all in all, five days later, I had my yard filled in, still slightly sloping to help with water runoff during rain. And I never really thought this project would ever get done, and it took a little bit more time than I first expected, mostly due to my lack of experience working with equipment like this. But I'm so glad that I finally took the time to do it. Having a partner like Compact Power Equipment Rental was really nice because they were there if I had questions or if I got stuck, etc. And now I have a backyard that doesn't have a giant pit in it that I need to be careful walking around. I can begin the fun part of planning a new outdoor space for entertaining my family and friends. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for this tutorial, but this is still a pretty new channel. So if you'd like to see more video updates, please leave comments below, subscribe, or go to my website at www.uglyducklinghouse.com and sign up for email updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.